Hey guys, there is a lot of cat hair like everywhere, and um, I'm actually going to Comic Palooza tomorrow. Um, I do have to tutor slash volunteer, but after that, I'm heading off to Comic Palooza and Comic Palooza in Houston. So I wanted to make this video, and essentially, uh, what happened was just like last time. So I'll go back all the way two years ago when Modern Masters One came out. No one wanted to buy the set locally, so I had my store owner, who's a friend buy all the set because the price was very high. Um, most stores who are very frugal people, most store owners who are frugal people, they are not going to spend all that money on a new set that they do not know if it's going to sell and it's twice as expensive as a regular booster box which they do know will sell. So at least for the initial first order, not many stores around my area ordered Modern Masters. I had two and a half cases of it ordered just for me. Um, it wasn't even like, it was just two and a half cases at a decent price. It wasn't a super amazing price, but it was an, I guess an okay price. And I had already arranged to meet subscribers uh, via Facebook. I don't know if it was just Facebook or was it something else. Um, my channel, my MTG Lion channel had just started, so it probably might not even been Facebook. But I had arranged for uh, four of my subscribers to go ahead and get a box. And I paid it. I put the deposit down. Actually, there was no deposit at that time. I just had to pay it when it came in. So I put the money in, and that turned out to be kind of weird. It actually turned out to be very good for me because all those people, all four of my subscribers, they bailed. And they didn't want to buy a box anymore. There was a lot of talk. I don't know exactly what happened, but people did not know what the print run at the time was. And something came out that the print run was huge, which now we know is not true. But back then, you have to realize not many people knew what was going on. And I didn't know what was going on. And the reason that people expected the print run to be huge was because a lot of these stores didn't even order any. So the one store that decides to order them said, oh, well, I can order X amount of boxes um, and there's still more in storage. Now, what happened was after a week, uh, the price of those boxes started going up tremendously. And then the subscribers at one point were like, oh, now I want the box. But the boxes was no longer that price. I forget what the price was. And I just had, I opened two boxes and I had two cases sealed because if there's anything I know, it's to keep those cases sealed. Otherwise, you have almost no chance of selling them in that large quantity because no one's going to buy it unless it is sealed. And then that goes for most booster boxes. Um, so I either open them or I, d I keep them sealed in the case. I know if I unseal the case, it's all over and I will open all four boxes. So I had two of them and eventually they went to $300 and that's when I moved them. I moved them for, I think I made like $50 a box, so 200 bucks a case. And you know, those I, a week later they literally said, okay, the price has gone up. I want to buy them now. I reserve them, give them to me. And it's like, no, you didn't put down the money. I had to pay my own money to get these boxes. Now. You might say, oh, of course MTG and Lion learned from that mistake of, you know, well, not really. So Modern Masters 2015 rolled and I made a video because I could get them relatively cheap. They were selling at eBay at the time for $250 on eBay. But, um, yeah, so they were selling for $250, $225 cash, no tax in Texas is pretty good because tax is like 8%. Uh, but what happened was I had multiple people come in. I, I was going to put down three cases. I only wanted two boxes, so there was 10 boxes that were supposedly going to go to subscribers. And I asked for a deposit from some of these subscribers. One of them wanted four boxes for him and his friends. So obviously I asked for, him a, for a deposit from him on Tuesday. So the release is Friday. I get it Friday. Um, I have to put a deposit down for not half. It used to be uh, the t entire amount was what I had to put the deposit down for, but I negotiated to like a three quarters of it, right? So I put down a deposit 
uh, and everyone bailed that night. Well, I before I put down the deposit on Tuesday, they started calling and saying that, oh, we got a better price at this other place. Um, we don't want to drive to where that location is. And they just wasted, um, in my opinion, I think they just wasted my time because I was on the phone with them, I texted them, I had spent my time talking with them and explaining and working out these details with them. And it wasn't just one or two of them, it was like six or seven of them. Um, they all called around the same time at night and said, no, I don't want to put down deposit. And like, what do you want me to do at that point? Like, what do you want me to do? Um, I had to find a buyer for, it's $2,700 a product. That's essentially what I was left with. And now that product isn't like useless, right? It's high, highly liquid, but it's still, you got to find a buyer and it's better to put them in, you know, cases and not take out the boxes and like sell them individually. And, you know, that buyer is not going to want to do that. So I did find a buyer for it. Right now, I have no idea what I want to do with them. Um, cause they're all, the cases all sealed and I had a buyer for all the cases and I don't know, I might hold on to them. Um, I don't, every piece of news I'm hearing about the print, one print run, two waves. That's what I'm hearing, but I'm hearing the second wave will happen after GP Las Vegas and it will be massive. Um, and people are just holding them back, distributors are holding them back until GP Las Vegas is over and that's gotta be a lot and uh, good for the players. I definitely recommend um, you guys if you have to, you, waiting is not particularly a um, issue at this point but I would say um, it's not like Modern Masters 1 where the price is just going to, of a box is going to skyrocket. I would go, I would probably say all my information leads me to believe that the price will be either steady or it will go down. So that's how I got stuck with uh, $2,700 of Modern Masters uh, 2015. I, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. I mean, I can move it anytime if I wanted to. Um, I just do not, I A, don't want to ship it. Um, so I don't want to pay eBay. So if you know eBay, PayPal uh, shipping, those fees are tremendous. You're going to, um, you will take a loss. And I did calculate it. Uh, I have a buyer who will buy at, who will buy all the cases at what I purchased them for, and he says he'll do it any time. So obviously, it would be advantageous for me to wait and see what is going to happen, and uh, to buy some time, right? So anyway, uh, that's how I got stuck with twenty seven hundred dollars up. Oh, and this is a really really cute look, dude. I got from Comic Palooza. Um, and it's Friday, so I got him, yeah, Comic Palooza, I got him at, from a dealer. Anyway, bye guys.